Severe weather warnings can be issued at any time during the year right here in the Midlands. News 19 meteorologist Corey Smith sat down with the National Weather Service to see the process behind issuing those warnings. When it comes to keeping the public safe, meteorologist John Quagliarello at the National Weather Service says it's their top priority. There's several things we're looking for. One, we're looking for the potential for any kind of damaging winds that could bring down trees or damaged property. We're looking for the potential for large hail. Uh, and we're also looking for any kind of rotation in the storms which might produce a tornado. I mean, it's obviously significant responsibility. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to weigh the difference between overwarning the public um, and making sure that the public is aware if there's a significant threat. Frank Alzheimer, Science and Operations Officer at the NWS, showed us an example from April of 2018 of when severe weather was moving through the Midlands. The software used by the NWS allows them to see the latest radar data and storm reports to issue warnings in real time. I'm going to issue a tornado warning and we're getting this sh the shape of a hook and that's a classic sign of rotation and a potential tornado. Frank then creates a path that the tornado is following and the software creates a polygon on the map showing where it is heading. The software then creates text that includes the severity and communities included in the warning. And then we would send it out. This, your phones would be going off, you know where the radio would be going off, and the television stations, of course, would be letting you know about the tornado warning that's issued. After seeing how it was done, it was my turn to issue a warning. We looked at strong winds along the line that were in excess of 50 miles per hour moving through the Midlands to decide where to put a severe thunderstorm warning. After creating the box, we put the finishing touches on the warning before sending it out. And then we will, as forecasters, proofread it to make sure there's no errors, make right. sure that everything there makes sense. And then at the very bottom, we will um, put our initials. I'll put mine down. Right. And then we hit send. There it is. And so there's the warning there's that the we just issued. Okay. That you just issued. When it comes to severe weather in the Midlands, the National Weather Service is always looking for the latest threat, which helps the weather team here at WLTX keep you informed on air when storms roll through. From Columbia, I'm News 19 meteorologist Corey Smith. And when severe weather uh, warnings are issued, you can get a notification directly on your phone by downloading the WLTX app. Be sure to stay up to date with weather conditions in your area. In addition to downloading that app, you can also get weather updates on our website, WLTX.com. Be sure to follow our News 19 meteorologists on their social media pages.